Hi, I'm the Wood Baker today. <laughs> yes, this year I'm making another padlock. Uh, but this time around, it's a combination padlock. I've already made two kinds of wooden padlocks in the past. By the way, I still have some to sell if you're interested. Last year, I continued the trend by designing this combination padlock. As you can see, it doesn't have too many tears, but it's still cool. At least, I think so. But designing this was not enough. I needed to test it. So, I cut a piece of plywood. Put it on the CNC and cut my first test. From past experience, I don't expect much from this, but I need to test it anyway, even the burning part of it. Here's my first test. Let's see what will go wrong. As expected, it's far from being close to a fit. I make some modifications and cut another one. On this one, the aligning holes are too small. Not a big deal. Eventually, I have something that holds together. Okay, it took four tries, but it's the best so far. But I need a shackle to check the rest. So I cut one from a scrap piece of wood. But just as I pushed on the formica spring I was intending to use, it broke in two. That's when I decide to use metal springs. This will be sturdier but I need to add something to lock the shackle in place. To do so, I fish into an unlimited resource of wood, <laughs> my scrap bin. I glue the small piece in place and test this. Wow, it works, even if I put on the last layer. This is a good start, but I have to make sure that if I cut another one, it will be perfect. This means that I will need a lot of pieces. I begin by cutting 12 shackles. I will have some spares for the people who will want a padlock. Then 18 dabs. When I designed the pattern, I took care of putting the holding screw away from the cutter. This worked like a charm. Then I need to make another test piece. Switch for the laser, draw a circle to the same size as the knob, and burn my woodpecker on all 18 knobs. Then I can assemble it. It needs some minor modifications, but I only have one working spring. I need to fix this. <laughs> By the way, don't ask me why, but trying to stop a 2 horsepower motor with your thumb doesn't work. I cut another test. Now I have to glue the number indicator with the top indexing wheel. It's the first time I have to glue something on one of my wooden padlocks. It's the reason why I even burn a bottle of glue on the wood but I have to be super careful not to glue the mechanism to the top layer. I even wipe the excess glue. Now that it's glued in place, I align the flat spot of the indexing wheel with this line, and this gives me the last combination number. But I need to wait for the glue to dry. So this is the ideal time to cut a bunch of shackles. Uh, the glue is not really dry enough to try it on the padlock. It has to be super dry, because the pressure is really big on those pieces. 
but I can glue the knob in place. I just have to make sure the board is pointing to the zero. When the glue is really dry, I can assemble the padlock. In fact, choosing your own padlock combination is the hardest part of the construction. When it's done, it's time to finish assembling it to have a functional padlock. Yes, I have four useless tests and four workable padlocks. Now I'm confident that I can make some to give as gifts. Here are the three kits I made for my Christmas gifts last year. But now it's time to go from this to this. First thing to do is to give one to my son. <laughs> yes, it's that kind of Christmas we had. But uh, unfortunately, Frankie was unable to fully assemble his padlock. It's, uh, it's probably because he didn't see this video. This was the third model of wooden padlock I made. If you want one, just email me. I really like this model. I had to do way more tests than the others. But it's also true that for this design, the inspiration didn't come from a book, unlike the other two. I designed it from scratch. The owner can choose any combination and have a working wooden padlock. Okay, this won't stop the burglars, but maybe start a really nice conversation. And see you soon for more of the Christmas presents I made last year on the Woodpecker!